Computers are made of a bunch of different parts, and it's hard to remember all the parts and what they do. You may not even have heard the name of most parts, but one part that most people have heard about is the graphics card. As you may hear in the name, the graphics card is a thing that makes your screen produce graphics and enable you to see what's going on. Before we go through how it does that, I'm going to just quickly tell you some background information. First off, there are two major competitors in the graphics card field, AMD and Nvidia. Secondly, your computer doesn't actually need a separate graphics card. Some processors come with a thing called integrated graphics. It means that the processor in your computer comes with a small graphics card built into it. However, this is a worse option compared to a separate graphics card if your main goal is performance. The reason is because the integrated graphics card uses the same memories as the CPU and therefore it lowers the performance. With that out of the way, how does graphic cards work? The graphic card is almost like a small computer inside of your computer. It has a processor, a motherboard and RAM like a normal computer. However, all these components are just used to create graphics. The processor in the graphics card is called the GPU, and a lot of people mention graphics card as though it's only a GPU, but there are more components and processes involved as well. The GPU gets its instructions from the processor of the computer, and when the graphics card is done with creating the image, the GPU sends it to the screen to show it. The RAM of the graphics card is called the VRAM, and it does a lot of things. First off, it keeps all the information needed to create the rendering, such as the color and location of each pixel. This takes a lot of memory, as we now even have the 8K option in some cases, which is over 33 million pixels to render and keep information about. The VRAM is also used in the way that it buffers frames. Buffering frames means that the graphics card can create the picture before it actually is supposed to be shown, and thus it saves a lot of time. The finished screen is stored in the VRAM until it's supposed to be sent to the screen. The motherboard of the graphics card works kind of like an ordinary motherboard, it provides electricity to all the parts in the graphics card and it is used to link all different pieces together. The graphics card motherboard is connected to the whole computer's motherboard and like all other parts of the computer it communicates to different parts through the motherboard. 